How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd uh, coming at you with the filter verb from dplyr. So this is how are we going to choose uh, the rows that we want to keep um, in, our, in our data set. So if you haven't seen the select statement, you can press that link right there to go back and watch that one first. Uh, or if not, if you're just interested in that one in, uh, in filter, then that's okay too. So uh, what we did before was we saved this iris data set that comes uh, just normally in R as a tibble, uh, a tibble DF, right? And so this saves it as a, as a data frame. There's uh, a couple of nice things where this prints a little bit shorter there. So uh, we're working with this, with this iris data set here. Okay, and so now we want to filter based on a set of conditions, right? We want to filter our rows based on some condition, right? So how this works is pretty much the same way as the other one. We say filter, right? So that's our verb. And then we say our data set that we're looking at, which is iris. And then here we put our, our condition on what we want to filter on. So let's say we're looking at this sepal length here and we want to know uh, plants that have big sepal lengths, right? So we want to filter on that. So we'll say uh, sepal length, if I can spell, hopefully that's right, uh, is greater than five, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to go through all the rows. Um, it's going to look at sepal length and it's just going to return the rows that have a sepal length greater than five. Right, so if we run that, I guess that didn't make too big of a difference, but uh, you can see the dimensions up here. So we started with 150 and it filtered out 32 of them, if I did my math right. Uh, so 32 of them are, are not, don't fit, right? They don't meet that criteria. So they're filtered out, right? So that's pretty neat. Um, you can also do something like, uh, we want, let's get rid of all that actually. We want to do our species is equal to setosa, right? So what this is saying is we're going to filter out any species that are, are uh, not setosa, right? We're only keeping setosa species, right? So we filter that and then we get our, our data set where it has, uh, it has 50 rows, right? And these are all setosa. If we look at the species, they're all going to be setosa here. Uh, or you can filter with, with multiple things, right? So let's say we want setosa. Um, and we want the sepal width to be greater than five, right? So you can filter on multiple conditions. Oh, none of the sepal widths are, right? So a sepal length greater than five, right? So there's 22 of those that have a sepal length greater than five um, and their setosa. Or you could do an or condition in here as well right? We want it to be the species setosa or to have a sepal length greater than five. And so there's going to be 146 of those, almost all of them. Okay. So that was a quick, uh, filter introduction. Uh, again, uh, if you want to see the next one, we're going to work on arranging next. You can click on this link up here to do the next video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to please press that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this one, uh, it helps other people find this video as well. Uh, thank you for watching.